In a lot of post contest discussion stream, people have asked me how they can use it on CodeSource, CodeForce. So this video is for them. This video assumes that you are either using a Linux based distro or you are using Windows subsystem for Linux. You can find official documentation for the library here. And this also has some instructions like my instructions are pretty much same as what is mentioned in the standard library. I also added these instructions as a blog on my website rnc4j3.com so that you can directly copy paste commands from there. So assuming that you have a terminal access, let's start now. The first step is to copy the library in your local setup. For that, I would be using a git clone command directly. Once cloning is complete, we have to also set up share this path with the GCC compiler by adding it in CPP include path. This is required so that next time when you write has include at coder hyphen DSU, the compiler should know from where it can get the DSU code. You can either, if you are using bash, you can directly use this command because I use ZSH, I would be adding it in my ZSH file. You can directly use this command here. So like this adds path in my ZSH directory. This will pretty much enable you this once you added the path, like you would pretty much we are ready for using adcoder library at adcoder.jp. But we need one more additional command so that we can use it on codes of code forces, etc. The idea is like adcoder library provides you a Python script. And if you pass any source code to the Python script, it replaces all has include at coder path with the content of those actual files. So for example, if you are using has include at coder DSU, then that Python script removes that line and adds the code of DSU into that file. So that next time, so that you can directly copy paste that command and on code self code processor. For that, I am setting up an alias here. You can copy the command here because I am using ZSH. I would be using this one. These were the one time setups, the steps you need to set it up locally. Like because we have added some variables in ZSHRC, either we can use source ZSHRC or we can just cl close and reopen all the terminal. Like the next step is like we should also test if I, our setup is working correctly. To test the setup, I would be using this unit find problem from library checker, a simple problem which uses DSU, which is you have given multiple queries. Some queries are from add lines, edges between U to V, and some queries are from does there exist, does the nodes you and V are connected, print one or zero or five. To save the time, I have also added the code of it in my blog, which uses, has include DSU library and directly uses all the functions there. So we can copy paste, copy this code directly in a file. Let's say we have some. So this is the code I have and now let's first test it out if it's working correctly. Now let's first compile the command to see if our compiler can recognize the GCC library. It comp compiled successfully. Now let's also run the code to see if it's working correctly. Let's say we have five nodes and five queries. Let's first ask if node one and two are connected. The answer since there are no nodes yet, they are not connected. Now let's connect one and three. And let's also connect two and three. Now let's again ask if one and two are connected. Yes, they are connected now. It's two and four are connected. They are not connected. The com com code compiles successfully. It's working fine. The next step is like we should be able to like has include the ad coder iPhone DSU is not a recognizable library on library checker. So we should, we can now use full expand a dot cpp command or like you can generally provide the file which you want to be expanded over here. So I have run this, it says it found dsu file and it's including this file there. And now if you look at the files in the folder, you will see like instead of as include dsu, a new file command dot cpp has been created at the same place. It contains the DSU code which we need in starting and then rest of our code follows same. 
now let's test if our code is working fine let's copy this and paste it on library checker let's submit it like the code has successfully passed all the test cases and it's an yes enough and like congratulations you have successfully installed at code library and you can now use it on any platform do like share subscribe and do let me know if you want me to create videos on something more specific i would be i would create them as well thanks and see you until the next time